back tonight from Whispering Willow Pet Funeral Home and Cremation Service. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thanks How for having you? me. I'm great. How are you? Good. Good. So I know we want to talk a little bit about the options that pet owners have, you know, when their pet passes away. Correct. And there's more options than they might think. Right. Just, you know, if, if they happen to be at the vet's office. Right. Yeah. Um, we have we found through a few of our clients that um, when they go to a vet's office for euthanasia, um, sometimes the vets don't give them all the options that they have. Sure. And one of one of the biggest things we like to stress is that they do have options. Yeah. Um, they're more than welcome to call us, keep their cremations local, and we're, we're happy to go take their pet into our care from a vet office, mm -hmm. or they can bring their pet to us. Okay. Um, but yeah. If they want to keep everything local, you know, our facilities are open. It doesn't matter where the pet is, you know, late yeah. put to euthanized, but um, so they can always come to us for, for cremation. Yeah, because you do more than just that, right? And and like right. you said, um, you were telling me before, you know, vets sometimes they don't do that in-house. They ship it and you don't know where, you don't really know what's happening, Correct. but you can keep things local and you can... Right. Really, I mean, we see here, like, have a little more to your experience Correct. and kind of get to say goodbye to your pet yes. in a different way. Yes, we do our best to make everything personalized and um, just do everything for our families so yeah. that they can focus on their grieving process. We do all the little stuff and, um, you know, we, we do have different options and they just, it's, it's most important for us to let them go through their steps that they need to because these yeah. babies are part of our family and Absolutely. it is so hard. Well, and that's how you ended up with this business, right? Right, you, right. You lost a pet, right? That's right, how, that's, that's our Bella girl yeah. right there, yeah. <laughs> and you realized that you wanted there to be a better experience for people. Correct, yeah. Um, like, I've been a funeral director for 15 years and then we just decided when our, when our pet died, it was just a, as important to grieve her, mm -hmm. you know, in a funeral sense um as it is our human loved yeah, ones so absolutely. so what um the last tribute to your pet what does that mean so it means all sorts of things okay. um going through what you need to go through to at the end of the day make your grieving process easy um well not easy it's never easy but better yeah um is what is what we do whether you need personalized items whether um it's just answering the questions so you have the knowledge of you know what to do next what can i expect next sure because a lot of people we're finding haven't you know haven't been through this before Absolutely. like during covid a lot of people got pets for companions because you couldn't do anything else right. and so a lot of people are first-time pet owners and aren't aware of the process to go through once they pass. Yeah, absolutely. So personalized options. Mm -hmm. We're talking about um, some of the items that you have here. Yep, too? this is yep. just a very small amount of personalized items. Um, one of our biggest um, sellers, I guess, yeah. um, is just a easy upgrade urn with uh, name and data passing, and they can kind of customize this as well. Okay. And then we offer clay paw prints, which are nice. Yeah, that's um, very sweet. But this one here, this is a tile paw print. Okay. And we partner with a lady who who takes um, an ink paw print that we've done and etches it onto a tile paw print. So they're just, they're really nice. Yeah, it's a and, very nice memento to have out. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. And we have another, we have a lady who hand paints um, portraits. Wow. And she did one of our Bella and I just had to show it off because it's, it's awesome. <laughs> isn't that incredible? Yeah, it's so, really cool. Um, yeah, it's just, it's important to have all, I mean, Bella passed in 2020 uh -huh. and so we're still memorializing her. You know, we want to keep, keep her alive, keep her around if we can. Yeah, so. absolutely. Especially, I know you have young kids. Yes. So it's important for them. This this is probably for most people like pets are the first time kids really start experiencing understanding what happens with yes. death and so Absolutely. finding an, a way to ease that, right. you know, if, if there is, that's great. Right. right, right. My daughter's four and she still remembers Bella yeah. and she asks about Bella yeah. and so we, we talk her through it and one of the other things that we have um, at our facilities is uh, an array of children's books Okay. and that's what's helped her through that too. Awesome. Um, they kind of just make it a 
in, into the perception of a yeah. child and it helps. That's great. So if someone yeah. wants to give you a call um, or stop by and see you and learn more, you know, if, if they do need your services, all the info is right there on the screen. You can scan that flow code in the bottom right hand corner with your phone too. Kate, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Coming up next, the best summer snacks for your family and then Hope is back for Tuesday Trends. We'll be right back.